welcome to my channel. Well, I have some Bowie knives stacked up on one another uh, because this is going to be like um, my impression of this one, the Cold Steel Wild West Bowie knife. Um, observations from wearing it as opposed to the other Bowie knives. First off, I'd like to say that this one is the heaviest of the bunch and when um in my hand when i hold it it's it's blade heavy but it's starting to feel more like a sword like a small a short sword than um a buoy knife so that's that's one thing about it also with the dangler on it this thing hangs fairly well down to where my hand at at rest is sitting here on the pommel but this thing goes it goes past my knee also it has this stuff that i've just wound up here but i don't see any way of getting it off other than cutting it off uh this looks like it was coming off some kind of little knot that was sealed in there and I really don't see a need for the uh, dangler with it because a lot of times I was carrying it with this just pushed back like this and then drawing it out because I'm not doing somersaults or anything. I do then notice it goes all the way down, you know, on the, on the leather. This is supposed to be a rosewood handle here. It's a pretty good knife. I mean, now I want to say right off, there's going to be people that have their favorite knives. You know, everybody's going to have their different favorite knives. And this is my personal opinion, okay? I'm not an expert. <clears throat> it's just out of all the different Bowie knives I've got, I wear these. When I get them, I wear them. When I'm walking, that's probably why I had to take a couple of days off on walking. Uh... I, I would walk at least a mile with them, hanging from my hip and everything, and I noticed different things about them. Like this one was pretty hard to conceal, <laughs> for obvious reasons, you know, besides it being long, but also with a dangler, the further it hangs down, the further your shirt's got to cover, come to cover it. And I don't have to conceal it, you know, here in, in Texas and stuff, but... Sometimes, you know, you just don't want to bring undue alarm. So, you know, if it doesn't look like you're carrying a short sword around with you, then uh, you run into less problems. Now, these other, these other ones, if I had to rate the knives in order of which ones I like the most as far as, like, the way they feel in the hand and everything, it, this is not based on price. I like the way this case feels in hand, you know, look at it, it fits my hand perfectly. Any of these other ones, the handle's going to be longer. And sometimes that's all it is, is ergonomics, you know, if, if you pick up a knife and it feels good to you, and you pick up another knife, and no matter what quality it is or whatever, it feels a little bit more awkward, it just doesn't feel quite as good then you know one's gonna feel better than the other uh, you know we're going from a $200 knife to like a $20 knife the difference between this one is I sanded it down already which really helped the feel of this knife it's got a thicker you know a wider handle to it but if you were on a budget and you could only afford one knife, see my hand, there's more handle space back here, which is fine for people with bigger hands, and I can make use of a, of a longer handle. I'm just saying that I get a more secure grip when I'm holding a knife if there's no slip and slide, you know? I've got the same grip no matter what going on, you know, with this knife. Sorry, I just knocked carry over this time at least the uh the knife was in a sheath 
It's going to get deflated one of these days. Get back up there. He likes to be right there looking. <clears throat> so, this one's pretty good. The sheath is eh. And uh, I don't like the retention strap of, of this. I'd rather have a snap, you know, coming over. Preferably, you know, on the non-sharp edge side. This works. It's just kind of a pain to line it up, you know, and snap it back up. Oh, see, sometimes it just doesn't... I'm trying to do it on camera, too. Get in there, you punk. All right, finally, got it. I'll move that one out of the way. Now, the Baron Sun, what I like about it, this would be my, this would be my number two. Out of all, out of these four, as far as likes, the number one would be the case. The number two would be the Berenson. The number three would be the Sesco, as far as like feel and carry around and everything. And the number four would be the Cold Steel. Now you may have your own different ratings or whatever, or you may have one that you like. I didn't include all of my Bowie knives and stuff. I just wanted to include most of the ones that had a. You know, a cross guard that was kind of S-shaped and, you know, similar similar blade, you know, designs. Kind of like a bolo uh, machete. But, or a bolo knife. Yeah, this one, what I like about it is the dangler really makes a difference. Now, the case is good if you want it high up and... Uh, to your side and everything, but like I said, I, I sat down with the case and it got me in a funny bone and this one's never done that. Uh, so that's a good one. It can swivel. It's, uh, you know, guard away so that you can carry it like that. But this one, now if you're a larger person and everything and have a, a bigger frame and everything and like that, this may may in fact be the one that feels better in your hand than the other ones you know because this company that makes us the windless you know company they're used to making swords and stuff so it's nicely polished but it is getting to be you know for me it it's not that much difference in weight but it is the heaviest one of them all and you combine the length of this, plus you've got way more cord than you ever need down there. Um, it just falls down into number four spot, you know, out of, out of these four. I still like it. I like, you know, everything about it and everything, other than the weight and actually carrying it. But if you're going to do, you know short task and stuff like that or you're car camping or whatever it's fine but as far as like walking a mile with it on your hip that's not going to be my preferred choice you know um this could be improved slightly like i said with an s guard this is just my personal preference now one thing i noticed about this that you don't notice until you're starting to use them is uh these stars that are in here indexes your thumb perfectly on the handle if you want to be like lined up center line you know whether you're left or right handed if you had your thumb sitting right there it would work well um, like I said this is just <clears throat> it's just my favorite one and it's not simply because of the the price uh, it's just, you know, you've got three large pins here, whereas the Sesco has some, you know, much smaller pins. Of course, you know, you're comparing, again, I sanded this down before that. You had some pretty rough edges here. It feels, it feels a lot better when it's been sanded down. If, if case could combine, oh, there's just some little speck on there. See, this thing's like a beauty queen. You, 
it's like you got a really shiny vehicle or something, you know, and a bug hits it, and you're like, damn. Whereas with the other ones, you're not as concerned. You're like, ah, oh, so what? It'll come off. It'll fall off. Um, <clears throat> these are decent-sized pins. It's not bad, and they do some gluing. You know, I can see some gluing that was done underneath on the handle. So your handle's probably not gonna come off or anything. But what I like is this, the grain of this Coco Bolo. If Case could take that and put this, instead of this plastic handle, synthetic, you know, but it's basically a plastic handle. Again, fits my hand perfectly. So, you know, keep the same shape and everything. Just change it to either jig bone or, um, I don't know. You could do my carta, but it, it just wouldn't feel as, you know, as, as good like as a Western one. But some kind of wood, you know, iron desert ironwood, coca bolo, and then the S guard just out of personal preference, you know. Yeah, I could, you know, if I was crazy, I could grind the nubs off these, you know, and just have it as a short guard. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not that. I am crazy, but I'm not that crazy. So, uh, oh, see, he's trying to get me. Like, All right, you start grinding anything on me, I'm going to start taking off toes. Watch out, I'm not doing that. Damn nice, man. you got to watch out with these things. So, yeah, um, depending on when you get these Sezcos, the sheath might even be not as good as this one. This is not bad, you know, I really. Um, like I was trying to say before, some people, some people look at it and they say, you're wasting your money on that. That's just trash or that's junk. Okay, let's just say that you've got a really super expensive knife, you know. Not just this, but I've seen Bowie knives in the thousands of dollars, you know. Let's say you've got one of those. Are you going to go out and have fun with it and throw it in the woods and throw it in the dirt and everything? No, probably not. You're going to go like, wee. Let's take another one out. And what will you take out? And what will you have fun with? Probably a cheap one that you're not worried about it breaking or messing up or doing anything like that. Now, one of the comments somebody was uh, mentioning, I, I put a like and a heart on it and I went to go back to find it, but it says uh, it only searches for comments you haven't responded to. And I didn't say anything. But the person said they had, I think it was this bear and son. I don't know if it was the Baron Sun, or I think it was this one. I'm not sure, but one of these two, they were they were throwing the knife, and the handguard started getting loose. I got, I got Terry again. He's belly up this time. Oh, I knocked the whole firehouse over. The dangers of filming big knives. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just. To me, you know, like after the after I had to take a rest of walking so many miles with buoy knives on my hip, my back kind of like semi got strained, and I just knew it was it was time to take a rest. You know, like I better chill out. There's no use exercising if you're if the net result is you're in a lot of pain. You can overdo things. I think that's what I was doing, but anyway. Uh, I switched to a smaller knife. You know, I, I switched to uh, uh, the Joker Corzo. You know, it's a nice little knife and everything. And I, and I also had the Civivi Elementum Fixed Blade. And those are nice, but I missed... I, bit, I missed a big knife feel on my hand. Because, man, if you break down boxes, man, you got cardboard boxes and you want to break them down, the advantage of a big knife is you don't have to... Be real precise, like, oh, I got to move all the way up here or all the way back. And believe me, when you get older, minimizing the amount of movement you have to do and a lot of effort you have to do is a big deal. And if you've got them sharp, like I do, man, these things just glide through like butter. They just go right through cardboard like butter, and you've got a box broken down in no time. Um, and then, also... There's nothing like throwing a big knife into the ground. I don't know. It's just a mumbly peg. Yeah, it's just like that, you know. 
No, I'm never going to grow up out of that. It's still fun to me. Some people, you know, like, ah, you should be an adult, you know. Well, fine. If, if, if that's your version of an adult, then you have fun with it. My version of an adult is, you know, I'm going to go back to the things that, uh, that I had fun with as a kid and what's wrong with them as an adult, you know. Well, throwing a big Bowie knife around out in the yard, you know, might get you in trouble if, if somebody reports it. Fine, you know, be discreet, you know, with it a little bit. But that doesn't mean you have to stop doing it just because it's, you're no longer, you know, fit the definition of somebody's definition of being an adult and being mature. The hell with that, you know? Live your life like that. Not me. I'm going to enjoy it as much as I can doesn't fit with somebody else's definition of enjoyment oh well that's too bad i gotta get terry up there see he, he he falls but he bounces right back that's why he's a he's got that ability see he can do tricks he has the ability to do trick get back up there and we're trying to steal the show <clears throat> all right so that's my that's my take on uh Bowie knives, I love them. Uh, I've, I've got an increased appreciation for them since I've seen, you know, since Toby and family have sent more and more of them through, I've been able to experience the whole variety. And I like the way he started with the uh, inexpensive ones first because um, it makes you appreciate, you know, the joy of a knife without saying like, oh, wow. This is an arm and a leg. No wonder I could never get it, you know? You look at the uh, the little Sesco again. Anywhere from like, I've seen it less than $20 and up to almost like $30. But not much more than that. And you think about what you spent $30 on. Probably filling up your tank <laughs> with gas nowadays. But still... Um, the amount of fun that you can have with one of these. And if it ever breaks or you mess it up, you know, the worst thing that would happen to it would be if it broke at the tang. Anything else, if the handle got loose or whatever, um, I tried to modify it to fix it, you know. And if it got to the point where it was damaged beyond repair, oh well. But when you start getting the 100 to $200 class of knives, well then... I, I think, I know a lot of people with cold steel still go crazy with their knives and, and wail on them and everything else. And that's fine. This thing's, you know, like I said, it's it's very sturdy. But look at that guard, man. It's just overkill for me as far as, like, something I would carry. Um, I'll still use it. I, I'll still, you know, carry it from time to time. But if I have a choice between... Bowie knives I'm going to walk around with. It's probably going to be this one, or this one, or this one. And it has, as the saying goes, you know, it depends on what you're going to do. This one is for killing crickets. Crickets are out there. You throw them down, you miss, you hit, you know, titanium steel reinforced pipe or something down there, and it messes up your tip. Oh, well. This one here is for just all around general purpose, you know, cutting up cardboard boxes. You can still, I have thrown it in the dirt. You can still throw it at crickets, but because of its tip construction, this tip is not as strong as on either the Sesco or the case. Now the case has almost gotten to the snap back on there get him out of the way the case has almost gotten to the point of too good to use you know but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that i, I carry it around a lot of weird on my hip even though i gotta watch my elbow i have sharpened it even though that might decrease the value you know for resale i'm not worried about that <clears throat> i'm an old guy single no children I'm not going to hand down anything to anybody, so uh, it'll probably go to sell, you know, pay off any debts I had if I died. 
maybe so that instead of throwing me in a ditch, they could actually put me in a grave. But, still, I guess because I'm a veteran, I got a guaranteed plot in the ground. This one I like. I like to carry a lot. I like to throw it, too. It is so well balanced, you know, I mean, for me, for throwing. I still mess up with it, but with this guy, I was having a problem sticking in the ground. The Baron Son is, a, is another good sticker, but like I said, I've got to watch throwing it in the ground. So, you know, I've got to watch it. And uh, the Sesco is right up there with the... Uh, case as far as like throwing into the ground and stickability so if those happen to be your parameters and you happen to have hands like me and you're built like me and wherever then you might find that all these things line up with your ideas of you know which one is a great knife and if there's any other variables involved in there then you'll have a difference of opinion and that's fine i just like i said i'm just saying this is this is my favorite all-in-one, all-around one. It just fits so well in the hand. It balances so well. The only drawbacks I would say to, to it is it's almost too pretty. See, like it's, you can see the thing. It, it's like, clean me off, clean me off. Oh, what are you doing? Put me on tape. See, it's kind of like, um, I hate to be sexist or anything, but this is like if you got a really pretty girlfriend as opposed to, I'm not saying ugly, I'm just saying a, an average girlfriend, or to you, she looks pretty, but to other people, uh... so which one is, is harder to maintain? Well, obviously, the pretty girl, she's got to get makeup, you, you can't let her, she doesn't want to go out in public unless she's looking her best, you know, no smudges, uh, you know. Don't scratch me, or I'll scratch back. You know, that type of stuff. High dollar, high high maintenance, you know. Not necessarily because it's stainless steel, but I mean, it's like the, the female analogy. You know, this one here, <laughs> she'd be like a, a Nordic woman or something, you know. She's big, she's beautiful in her own way, but uh, she's a little a little too big for me to handle you know on a regular basis see how sexist this guy and then this one would be you know like ah, this one looks pretty good too she's up there she's not as high dollar maintenance you know she's she's pretty but she either she doesn't know it or she's not using it to her advantage like this one this one's more like prim prissy prim or whatever yeah uh, uh, this one here be like your your country girl, you know. You a lot of people look at it and think she's plain, but if you look at her close enough, you'd find out. Hey, this is the one you want to have by your side, man. She ain't gonna let you down. She's gonna be there. Uh, she looks good enough, you know. Definitely not high dollar. Would probably support you more than you would support it, you know. <laughs> so there you go. That's a, a really weird analogy on uh, on knives, you know. And in this day and age, with more than two genders, people may find that offensive. Tough. So what? These are my opinions. Uh, you know, you can say that they were wrong, but they were not wrong for me because they were my opinions. So anyways, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Those of you that stuck around long enough till the very end. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy your buoys. boo e boo e boo 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 Hey. You were supposed to turn this off a little while ago. Yeah, I was waiting for another knife to show up.
Thank you.